Hey guys what is going on it's me Capo and we have some new Call of Duty mobile news. The first news story is going to be really amazing because in the Chinese version the first spin of the informant draw is free. Is it going to be free in the global version and the Garena versions too? I'm not so sure about it but we have high hopes about it because normally they never give draws for free. The last time we got a free spin for a lucky draw is for the legendary peacekeeper and you guys probably saw what happened happened to 17 accounts that I opened. Now in the Chinese version I also tried the free spin and guess what I got? I got the calling card. That is exactly what we can expect from free spins although we get it for free but at least it is free and we have a chance for a really good skin. So do you guys think it will be free for the global version? Let me know what you think in the comment section. And do you guys remember this guy? This is Cryptis. In the Chinese version for you section, this draw was back and that was really confusing because it was released only 4 months back for the very first time and now it is back in the for you section. This could mean that in next season maybe we will get this draw back in the for you section inside of the global version. If this becomes true, that means Mythic Phoenix return will not happen anytime soon. Maybe what they think is that if they rerun this draw in the for you and make people buy it because people don't think that Mythic Fennec is coming anytime soon and in the following season if they release Mythic Fennec back that's double the money. But this is just a prediction and we don't have any official news about Legendary Fennec coming back inside of the for you next season but this can totally happen. The next news story is that Activision Blizzard has suspended new sales of its games in Russia. According to MSN, yesterday Activision Blizzard released a statement in support of Ukrainian people. They have made it clear that the company is committed to helping those impacted by the violence and that they want to help in any way that they can. Also they have stated that Activision Blizzard will be suspending new sales of their games in Russia while the conflict continues. Also guys please note that the Activision Blizzard is not the first gaming company to directly target Russia. Earlier this week EA announced it would also suspend sales in the country among others including Microsoft and CD Projekt Red. Other companies halted localization for their games in Russia, even flat out removed Russian teams from their games. This is not going to be good guys. Will they ban Call of Duty Mobile in Russia too because of the current situation? We don't know what will happen. What do you guys think about this? Let me know what you think in the comment section. And that's everything for now. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon. Watch my other videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.